doctors say COVID fatigue is real and is having a real effect on the number of cases statewide. I think we are all tired of all the social distancing that we're doing, all the restrictions on our lives. And I think how this is really affecting us probably the most is um, our interactions with family and friends. Dr. Dean um, Blumberg with UC all, Davis Health says people need to reconsider their holiday plans as COVID-19 cases rise. Shared time cooking in the kitchen and sitting on the couch watching football and um, just a lot of together time. Um, and that's something that we're not recommending this year. It's Those traditions will be tough to change, but Blumberg says without continued social distancing and mask wearing, the virus will keep spreading. If we have increased rates of community transmission, that means nurses and doctors are going to get ill too. There's going to be less people that are going to be available to take care of patients. He says if people don't take precautions through the holidays, the state could run out of ICU beds by January. In Sacramento County, public health officials are getting ready to release guidelines on how people should gather during the holidays. We really all need to work together and make sure that um, we follow the guidance. Sacramento County Public Health Officer Dr. Olivia Casirier says 18 to 49 year olds, young adults, are the group seeing the highest rate of spread. She says everyone needs to work together to slow the virus. I think it's also a reminder that as a community, we all need to realize that our actions will impact uh, the entire community. Dr. Kassirier says those guidelines are expected to be released tomorrow. The state has yet to put out its formal guidelines for the holidays. Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.